Welcome back, Cloud Scholars. My name is Nala, and I'm your AI host for today. Our topic today is about Azure Landing Zone. An Azure Landing Zone is a set of guidelines, best practices, reference architectures, and resources provided by Microsoft to help organizations design, plan, and implement a well-architected and secure environment in Microsoft Azure. Azure Landing Zone provides a secure foundation with best practices for implementing security controls and meeting compliance requirements. This is crucial for safeguarding sensitive data and ensuring that the cloud environment adheres to regulatory standards. It helps design and implement a scalable architecture that can grow with the organization's needs. This ensures optimal performance and resource utilization as workloads expand. Azure Landing Zone promotes consistency and standardization in cloud deployments. This is especially important in large enterprises where multiple teams might be deploying resources. Consistent implementations make it easier to manage and troubleshoot the environment. By providing a set of proven practices and automation scripts, Azure Landing Zone accelerates the deployment process. This helps organizations get their workloads up and running quickly while maintaining a high level of confidence in the security and compliance of the infrastructure. It includes recommendations for cost management best practices, helping organizations optimize their cloud spending. The specific components of an Azure Landing Zone can vary, but a typical Landing Zone includes the following elements. Identity and Access Management IM, Azure Active Directory AAD, Set up and configure Azure AD to manage identities and access. Role-based access control, RBSC. Define roles and permissions for resource access. Networking, virtual networks, VNets. Define network topology and connectivity. Azure Firewall and Network Security Groups, NSGs. Implement network security controls. Resource organization and tagging, resource groups. Organize resources logically within resource groups. Resource tagging. Apply consistent tags to resources for tracking and cost management. Monitoring and logging. Azure Monitor and Azure Security Center. Implement monitoring and logging for performance, security, and compliance. Resource deployment. Automation, Azure Resource Manager, ARM. Templates. Use templates for infrastructure as code, IAC, to automate resource deployment. Azure Policy. Enforce organizational standards and compliance through policy definitions. Governance and Compliance, Azure Policy and Blueprints. Establish governance policies and compliance standards. Azure Policy Initiative. Define sets of policies and initiatives for consistent governance. Operations and Management, Azure Management Groups. Organize subscriptions and apply policies at scale. Azure Cost Management plus Billing. Monitor and manage costs effectively. Security and Compliance, Azure Security Center. Enhance security posture with threat protection and security policy enforcement. Workload deployment guidance, application deployment, best practices, recommendations for deploying applications in Azure. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Cloud Scholars for more content. Our goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.